My grandfather arrived in Constantinople, Istanbul today, uh, on Thanksgiving Day in 1913. He had a great capacity to put himself in other people's shoes, feel for suffering. When I've discussed this with Turks, I mean, they've said, yeah, well, these Armenians were pro-Russian. And I said, well, my answer is, even if they were pro-Russian, that doesn't justify killing all the women and children. If the world had reacted to the genocide of Armenians, uh, Hitler would have been reluctant to go out and kill Jews in a wholesale fashion. And it is this that profoundly upset him. He tried to prevent further murder of Armenians by Turks while he was ambassador. There were missionaries all over Turkey. There were diplomats of United States consuls, other countries, all saying the same thing. The mission to Greece was very successful in reestablishing people who had been driven out or exchanged and helped to make Greece for a while a, a very prosperous country. Took skill a lot of Greeks. I have pictures of throwing him in the water and Smyrna Harbor, which I got from my grandfather. The American Ships came there and tried to rescue them. Well, but that was a sad day. But I don't think peace can be imposed on the Turks. It's got to be something that they decide they want. And I, I just hope they'll wake up someday and say, you know, it's not good for us to have this festering sore. He did, I think, extraordinary work for which he was profoundly honored by the Greek nation. But we accept the, the genocide of the Native Americans. Uh, we accept the horrors of, uh, of slavery of the African people. Uh, we are all one people. You don't deserve forgiveness, in my view, at all, until you have gone through the steps of acknowledging the truth, stating the truth, acknowledging the truth, reparations, restitution, promise not to repeat, memorialization, and changing the history books. Then you deserve to be forgiven.